Now let's talk about the weekend. With thousands expected in town for this holiday weekend, one of Austin's busiest destinations, Sixth Street, is anticipating an influx of tourists. And while crime has risen in the entertainment district over the years, just last week, you'll remember we told you APD noted that there hasn't been a shooting there in months. KXN's Brianna Hollis spends a night shift with downtown area command officers to get a closer look at what police see on 6th Street. I'm good. I'm going to go. It will be. I'm just trying to organize chaos. It's a loud, rambunctious crowd. You're introducing foreign substances, alcohol, narcotics, other things. So it can make a normal, everyday person turn into an unreasonable person. Austin's downtown area command officers see it all. General assaults, robberies. Uh, aggravated assault, stabbings, firearms. KXAN obtained six street crime records from the beginning of the year through May 15th. Police responded to 25 violent crimes, which included aggravated assault, robbery, and murder. So far, police report one murder on 6th Street this year. Last year, in total, there were four homicides on 6th Street itself and two a block away. You have uh, antagonistic groups with each other that maybe have beef or anger towards each other from outside events. They'll drive down here, they'll run into each other, which that can lead to violence. That usually leads to our more aggressive violent acts. For the stranger violence, a lot of times what we'll see is people that are intoxicated. That will be more stranger on stranger. The report also detailed gun and drug seizures downtown. Marijuana was the most common drug seized. The second was crack cocaine. And in 47 of APD's downtown arrests, officers recovered illegally possessed firearms. Hey, sir, police department. Hey man, so you're under arrest, all right? As for the night we spent alongside APD. Relatively normal, like a couple fights. That was a drunk guy picking a fight with a random guy over nothing. Now the Safer 6th Street initiative, which city council passed last year, was created to curb violent crime in the entertainment district. The partnership between the city and downtown businesses includes initiatives like installing halo cameras, creating public safety staging areas, and training bar staff in how to spot potential violence. I don't, I don't know if there's like a direct hard line answer about how to curb violence down here. It's just on a wave. It goes up and down. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And the officers we spoke with say DPS's presence in other parts of the city helped curb crime on 6th Street by deterring people from driving to the entertainment district with guns and drugs. That DPS partnership, as we've reported, ended two weeks ago, but is expected to resume this summer.